All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I'm out here with my youngest daughter, the Catfish Queen. And we are out here on the Nottaway River today. And what I'm trying to do is I'm planning on catching some shad. I'm gonna try to catch some shad. I talked to a guy that, uh, when I was putting the boat in, and he told me that some guys up here really caught them good today. This is something some of y'all might not really know about catching. Some of y'all might have done it, might not have done it. Um, but I'm kind of show y'all how I do it, what I catch them on, where I go to catch them, and maybe teach y'all a little something. I think I finally got my motor running good, so I'm extremely happy. I'll do a video on that a little bit later. I've been wanting to do one, but just hadn't worked out because my motor hadn't been running right. But I finally fixed it, so I'm gonna let y'all know what I did to fix it. I'll do a little video on that, you know, like I said, sometime later. But anyway, let's run up the river and let's catch some fish. All right, so what I do, a little bit different, and I forgot a darn split shot, which that kind of sucks. But I throw a small Rapala Husky Jerk for these shad. And usually I put a split shot like one foot or 15 inches up the line right here, and I completely forgot one. So that's definitely gonna hurt my casting ability and how deep it's going. But hopefully I can still catch some. I should be able to. Let's see if we can get us one. All right, so I know they're in here because I just saw one move up there. Came up to the top and bowled. So I have to get us where we're not gonna move anymore. Gotta get the poor man's power pole locked in. Got her locked in right there. So now we can just stand right here and just cast. And I'm not sure if they like this pink or not. I've actually never thrown pink for them, so I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to get pink, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Put rod tip down, get it a touch deeper. There's one right there. Yep. Check that out. And these things are super fun to catch. Oh, that is a freaking nice one right there. Yeah, we'll keep him. That is a hammer. That's a Rochad too. And if nobody knows what I mean by Rochad, I mean this shad has eggs in it. I'm gonna keep some of these for catfish bait because I'm planning on doing some, some uh, catfish videos. All right, so first shad of 2020 right there, and that is a nice one. And we are gonna put him in the live well. Why are you him? <laughs> and we're gonna see if we can get us another one. So they will bite the pink. They will bite the pink. I'm gonna loosen up my drag a little bit. And I'm throwing this on a 6'6 six, six medium Abby Garcia Vendetta with just a quantum PT. Oh, there's another one. I think that's a heron. Yep, that's a heron. And we can't keep these. Oh, he just fell back in. We can't keep them in Virginia anymore. But what I'm doing is I'm throwing this on a just a, a 2000 or a 20 series PT quantum. And I have 20 pound power pro to a 15 pound mono leader and you can go lighter like if you want a lighter action rod or whatever to have a little more fun oh god they are crushing this thing but these things are super fun to catch super fun i'll definitely be back here tomorrow morning to 
chase after them again. I have I have a split shot on here. And this water and something else, you know, this water is shallow in here. So they can't really be deep and kind of go under. You're kind of dragging it right through them. And I always bring my, my lure with the current. So the current is running out of the swamp right now. And I'm bringing it right with the current dead into their face because they're actually running up past us. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, this is a better one. This is a shed, not a heron. These things are so fun. Are we gonna keep him? Yeah, we're gonna keep him. Right. I look forward. He's bleeding all over the place. Ooh, he is gonna mess my boat up. I look forward to catching these shad every year. It is so much fun. All right, so there's number two. There's one. This is a small one. Small one. This is a heron. Get back in there. All right, so I switched over to Helsinki Shad in the Husky Jerk. And that's kind of a matte silver and it has a chartreuse side on it. See if we get bit on this one, see if it makes any difference. There we go. Oh, there's one. Just made that switch in color. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. But there's a shed. Yep, we're gonna keep this one. Alright, so we got three. We got three. There's one. Oh god, he just come off. That was a freaking big one too. I saw him. That was a tank. I don't know what the deal is with him losing so many. There's another one. There's another good run of them. Yeah, that's a big one. Come here. Oh yeah, that's a nice one there. Come here. Oh, I got him with the very back hook. He's probably gonna come off. Oh God, this is a big one. <laughs> that is a tank. Are you gonna keep it? Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Yeah, we'll keep this one. This is, I mean, this is a tank of a shad right here. We're gonna have four. Yep. I mean, that is a, that is a nice, nice shed. Yeah, this is a, this is a really nice one. It's going crazy. Pretty much. Yeah, it's a big one. Not a giant, but I've caught bigger, but that's a, that is a really nice one. Is this really a giant? Yeah. Yeah. I went to flip him in the boat and I was like, holy crap. That dude was heavy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this one's going crazy. This is another nice one. Not quite as big as the last one, but a nice one. All right. Oh, you want to keep it? All right, so like I said, you can keep, you can keep 10 per person. They're the absolute best catfish bait out there. And I'm going to do some catfish videos Oh God, there was one right then. And uh, I'm gonna do some catfish like limb line videos as well. So I think y'all will enjoy them, or at least I hope so. Try to be diverse on my channel. Like I said, I'm primarily a bass fisherman, but I fish for, I fish for everything. So I like to put a little bit of everything up here. Ooh, big shad just cut right there to my left. And they come up and cut. You see that big bull right there? And they come up and they beat up against the trees and knock their eggs out and all. It's pretty cool. And they just do it every year. They come up every year. 
Oh, big one just cut right there to the left of me. I might should get bit. Yep, there he is. Oh, God, I hope I got that, I hope I got that jump on camera. That was awesome. That was awesome. Come here. So how many we got now? How many we got now? Six. All right. There's one right there. Ooh, this is a, whoa. What have we got here? This is a big, this is a big old shed. I guess it's a shed. God, what, I got him in the top of the head or something? This dude is pulling off. Yeah, I got him kind of in the top of the head. That thing, oh, good. Woo, I'm gonna tell you what. I am so glad that thing hit me in the arm because it popped out of his mouth and just hit me in the freaking arm, slung up. Whew. That would have been bad to the face. All right. All right, let's see if I can catch one more. This will be last cast. It's starting to get dark, it's getting pretty cold. My little girl's back there, got a blanket on, about to freeze. I will be back tomorrow morning. All right, so just finished up, got my last cast in. Didn't do bad. I actually caught, I think, eight shad and I caught some uh, heron too. So I'm pretty excited. I wasn't even expecting to catch anything. I'm not gonna say I wasn't expecting to catch anything, but I hadn't been, so I wasn't real sure if they were running good. So, I did catch some, so I'm pretty excited about that. Got a beautiful night, got the moon coming up right up there. Really pretty. And my youngest daughter with me, she's getting pretty cold. So it is a little chilly out here. It's been raining a little bit too, not, not too bad. But hey, caught some fish, got some good catfish baits. I'm gonna do some limb lining uh, in a couple weeks. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna catch some catfish, but I'm gonna be back here right here tomorrow morning and i hopefully hopefully i catch some more shad and some more big ones because that is super fun so thank you for watching and i'll see y'all next time on gunfish tv